All right, here we go. The turnaround is always quick on us here. Getting ready for the second game. Mason Davenport is on the mound for the Blue Devils. That's up high. He's a tall right-hander. McDonald, Custer, and Fry scheduled up for the Panthers. There's a foul ball. So one and one the count. Foul ball back and into the screen. Davenport is from Tonganoxie. Kansas. Two balls and two strikes now at the count. Foul ball back to the screen. We'll do the 2 2 again. McDonald leading off in this second game. He pitched in the first game. Takes up high just a little bit. He actually pitched the last inning and closed the game out. Three balls and two strikes to Keegan McDonald, the left fielder in this second game. Just a little bit low. So a leadoff walk to start the game. going to bring up Custer. He's playing second. He was two for five in the first game. There's a ball to Buck over to second base and then over to first. So Buck to Mervosh to Wood for the 5-4-3 to erase that lead off base on balls. That's going to bring up Fry. Fry was one for four in the first game with an RBI base hit. There's a strike right through there. Owen won the count on Brendan Fry, the right fielder. The ground ball headed to Woida. Wada was trying to get the ball picked up. See how they score that. That's going to be an error three on Wada. Pitcher was trying to get over to cover. Wada was trying to get a hold of the ball to touch, to touch the bag and just didn't get a hold of it before he went to touch the bag. So two outs. Runner at first base. That's going to bring up Miller, the first baseman. There's a strike right through there. Miller was one for two in the first game. Had a sack fly to the outfield. Was hit by a pitch twice and walked once. Nice block by Buffington. He was robbed of a base hit on a nice play by Jet Buck at third base, diving toward the second base, taking away the ground ball and then throwing over to Woida for the out. Yeah. Foul ball, little check swing, knocked it straight down, grounded into the dirt. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. 
Runner at first base is Brendan Fry. He reached on the air. Strike three, called lower part of the zone, outside half of the plate. So at the end of half an inning, no runs, no hits, and an error on Wade at first base. We go to the bottom of the first. Blue Devils get their first bat of this second game. We'll be back. All right, to the bottom of the first we go. We're trying to get some things caught up here. Bookwork-wise, there's two pitches up high. Jake Wellington from Clearwater, Kansas, is on the mound. That misses outside. He went to Clearwater High School. McCart takes a walk. McCart had a home run and a couple of walks and a bunt out in that first game. That's going to bring up Gary Goldbeck. Goldbeck was one for four in the first game. Takes strike called. So runner at first base. <coughs> Go back at the plate. Foul ball down the third base line. Oh, and to the count quickly on Goldbeck. Runner at first base is Peyton McCarg. He reached on a walk. Throw over, nothing going on over there. Just misses, one and two the count. Just a little bit high, two balls and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out. Wellington on the mound. There is a ball off the glove of the first baseman. I'm going to guess that that's going to be a base hit. 
and then he tried to go ahead and get the out at second, which they did not. So a base on balls and a base hit by Goldbeck. And that is going to bring up Patterson. Patterson will step in with nobody out and runners at first and second. Patterson was 2-4-4 four, four in the first game. Had a couple of base hits. Breaking pitch stayed up high and inside. 1-0 and the count. Strike called, one and one, the count. Wellington with a 2.0 ERA. Outside, two and one, the count. Two balls, one strike to the designated hitter, Brady Patterson. Ball's headed into right field. That's going to be a base hit. And an RBI base hit for Patterson. Laces a line drive into right field. And scores McCark from second base. So the Blue Devils in business here with one run in. And still nobody out. It's going to bring up Jace Woida. Woida, the first baseman. There's a fly ball headed into left field. It's going to be taken care of by McDonald. So a fly out to left field. That's going to bring up McGee. McGee will step in. McGee had a two RBI double in a single and a couple of strikeouts. So two for four in the first game with a couple of RBI. He'll step in with one out and runners at first and second. Runner goes, swing and a miss. Throw over to third, so the double steal. Stolen base by Goldbeck and Patterson. A ground ball at the third baseman. He's going to come home, and the ball's going to get thrown into left field. So that's going to be an error on the third baseman. A run does score on the play to make it 2-0. So that's going to bring up Matt Buffington. He'll be up there with one out, runners at second and third. Catches the outside corner, called strike. Buffington was hit by a pitch, had a base hit, and flew out to center field. So in the first game, he was one for two. That's up high. One ball, one strike, one out. Breaking balls outside. Two and one the count. Each team with an error so far. Blue Devils have... Scored two in the inning. 
on a couple of hits. It's outside. Three and one the count on Buffington. Ball four on Buffington. So that loads the bases for Jet Buck. Buck will step in with the bases loaded. We're going to get a quick visit to the mound. We'll take a break. Short break. We'll be back. So back to and we are. Jet Buck is at the plate. Buck was one for two in the first game, had a base hit and a ground out and a walk. Bases loaded, one out. There's a strike right through there. See if Buck can get something on the outfield grass here. Down the right field line, that's going to be out of play. Bottom of the first inning. Second game, Blue Devils dropped the first game 11-4 to today. This is a nine-inning scheduled game. The first one was a seven. Breaking pitch over the top of the strike zone. A lot of complaints by an EO show there, but I'm guessing when they're hitting, they don't want that ball called a strike. Outside again. Closer to the zone, but outside. Two balls, two strikes in and out. Bases full of Blue Devils. That's up high. Three balls, two strikes in and out. Jet Buck at the plate. Strike three called. Catches the outside corner. That's going to bring up Tyler Janess. Janess will be in right field this game, or was in right field this game. He'll step in with two outs, and the bases loaded his first at bat of the day. Swing and a miss of the first pitch. Squares to bunt. Comes the 1-1 one, one from Wellington. Check swing foul ball back to the screen. So one and two the count now. A little bit low. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Patterson at third base. 
Buffington at first. There's a soft line drive to the second baseman for the out. So the Blue Devils get two runs on two hits. We go to the top of the seventh. Blue Devils leading 2-0. We'll be back. All right, Erlob, Pringle, and Snodgrass scheduled up to face Davenport. There's a strike, catches the outside corner. Erlob had a double in the first game, a walk, a hit by a pitch, strikeout, and a ground out. That's outside. In the dirt. Two and one the count on the shortstop Alex Erlob. Strike catches the outside corner. Two balls, two strikes as Erlob leads off. The top of the second inning. So ball headed right at the second baseman, Mervosh. It's an error on Mervosh at second base. So the leadoff runner in the top of the second is on. That's going to bring up Pringle. Pringle had three RBI in the first game, a double, a single, a ground out, and a couple of walks. There's a strike right down the middle. All three balls he put in play, including the ground out, yielded a run. Misses just a little bit low. Runner at first base is Erlob. He reached on the air. So ground ball at Merva. She's up with it and going to be out at first. So the four six three to a race. 
the runner on by air, so that's back-to-back -back innings where the leadoff runner was on. And then double plays culminated after that, so two outs. It's going to bring up Snodgrass. Breaking pitch stayed up high. Snodgrass was one for five in the first game. He did have an RBI base hit. There's a strike right through there. One and one the count. Two outs. Another strike right down the middle. Snodgrass is the Panthers' third baseman. Swing and a miss. Got a piece of it, but right into the glove. So an error, but a 4-6-3. Then a strikeout. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Blue Devils leading 2-0. To the bottom of the second inning we go. Mervosh, McHarg, and Goldbeck scheduled up to face Wellington. Mervosh getting his first at bat of the day. Just misses a little bit inside. Mervosh playing second base in this second game. There's a strike right through there. Mervosh starting the day batting 298. Two and one the count on Mervosh. Foul ball back to the screen. Two and two the count. Blue Devils with a two run lead. Is a ground ball right back to the pitcher? He'll grab it. Wellington over to Miller for the one three ground out. So back to the top of the order and McHarg. McHarg will step in. McHarg is from Saskatoon, Canada. 1-0 the count to him. Turned on that fastball, drove it foul down the first baseline. One ball, one strike, one out. McHarg walked his first time up. Scored on a Patterson base hit. That ball misses. Two and one the count. The 
It's a base hit in the right field. So McCarg is on with a base hit. So that's going to bring up Goldbeck. Goldbeck is from Kansas City, Kansas. He'll step in with one out and one on. Runner at first base after that base hit by Mick Harg. Goldbeck had a base hit his first time out. There's a strike called. Goldbeck, his first at bat, had a ball that took the first baseman toward the second base side off his glove as he dove for the ball. Then when he tried to throw it to second, nobody was out, so everybody was safe. There's a hit by pitch of Goldbeck. So that's going to bring up Brady Patterson. Patterson will step in with runners at first and second, one out. Patterson is from Auburn, Kansas. There's another hit by a pitch. So that's going to bring up Woyda. Woyda will step in to face Wellington. Woyda is from Lincoln, Nebraska. Went to St. Pius the Tenth High School. He steps in with the bases loaded and one out. There's a strike on the outside corner. Would have flew out to left field his first time up. Fouled that one away so quickly on to the count on Jace Woyda, the first baseman from Nebraska. Outside. One and two the count. McDonald Liston Fry from left to right across the outfield for the Panthers. Snodgrass Erlob. Custer and Miller across the infield. Moore catching the second game. Pringle caught the first. There's a fly ball headed into center field. That's going to be taken care of by Lister. And a sack fly by Woyda. So that's going to bring the total to three currently. So runners at the corners. That's going to bring up Parker McGee. He reached on an error his first time up. They yielded a run. McGee is from Liberty, Missouri. Went to Liberty High School. The fly ball into shallow right field. Going out to take care of that. That's going to be off the glove. And the run is going to count. So two... Excuse me, two runs are going to score on the play. Was that scored a hit or scored a hit? A, quite a run, scored a hit into right field for McGee. One run will score on the base hit. And then the other run scored before the rundown is finalized to make it 4-0. We'll take a break, get a little paperwork done. We'll be back. Stay with us.
All right, here we go to the top of the third inning. Remember, this the first game was a seven. This one is a nine. It's going to bring up more Liston and McDonald. First pitch to Moore, strike on the inside corner. This is the first at-bat for Moore. He is the platoon catcher for this game. Swing and a miss of that pitch. So quickly, 0-2 the count on Cody Moore. Moore starts the day batting 500. Limited at bats as a platoon catcher. One and two the count on him. Davenport is a tall young man. How tall is Davenport? Six foot nine. It doesn't show on our paperwork, but he went down to a knee there coming off the mound, went ahead and delivered the ball. Two and two the count. Strike three called, catches the outside corner for the first out of the inning. That's going to bring up Reed Liston. Liston was one for four in the first game. With a base hit, a ground out, and a couple of strikeouts, he'll step in with one out and nobody on. Right through there, strike one called. Owen won the count. Outside. One ball, one strike, one out. Little bit low. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. Wellington had to tie a shoe. Listing back in. There's a ground ball right through the legs, right up the middle for a one-out base hit by Liston. Right through the wicket right there, right back up the box. So to the top of the order. Back to the top of the order for the Panthers. Foul ball back into the screen. McDonald is from Clay Center, Kansas. He walked his first time up. Foul ball over the first, first base dugout and out of play. Runner at first base is Reed Liston. He's the center fielder for the Panthers. He had a one-out base hit right back up through the box. There's a ball headed to center field. Taken care of by McHarg. Two outs now going to bring up Custer. <coughs> Custer grounded into a 5-4-3 double play his first time up. Breaking ball just a little bit low. Looked pretty good. Ruled a ball. Want to know the count.
in the dirt, nicely blocked by Buffington. 2-0 and oh the count now. Strike called outside corner at the knees. So ground ball headed at Goldbeck. He's over to Mervash for the 6-4 fielder's choice. One hit. No runs. We go to the bottom of the third. Blue Devils leading 5-0. We'll be back. want to make a reminder to anyone that would just like to donate to the broadcast. If you go to fortees.com, go to the donation page. There are several ways that you can donate. Any donations are appreciated as that cuts down on the cost that is incurred by the baseball program and Coach Goldback. Please consider. Thank you. All right, to the bottom of the third we go. Wellington back for another inning of work. That's a little bit high and inside. Matt Buffington from Andover, Kansas, went to Andover Central High School. That's a strike called inside corner. At the knees, one ball, one strike on Matt Buffington. He reached on a base on balls his first time up. That ball's into right field. Coming in to take care of that is Fry. There's a strike. Catches the outside corner. Brings up Jet Buck. He was called out on strikes his first time up. There's a ball headed into right field. Coming in to take care of that is Miller. So back-to-back -back fly balls to Miller in right field. That's going to bring up Janesse. Janesse hit a soft line drive to the second baseman. His first time up, that misses low. Janess is from Liberty, Missouri. Went to Liberty North High School. There's going to be a hit by a pitch. So that's the third hit by a pitch in as many innings. It's going to bring up Mervosh. Mervosh is from Lenexa, Kansas. Strike called. Runner at first base is Tyler Janess, the right fielder. Snap throw down to first, back in safely is Janess. Mervosh grounded back to the pitcher his first time up. One and one the count. 
Breaking pitch goes outside. Two and one the count. Sun's starting to go behind some clouds or the clouds covering the sun. Foul ball out of play, so it will start to cool off even more. Not much wind right now. Hope everyone accounted for that loss of the hour of sleep. Throw over to first, back in safely. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. There's a ball headed into right field. That's taken care of by Mervosh, or excuse me, by Miller. Mervosh flies out. Of, so Miller takes three fly balls and a hit by pitch in the inning. We go to the top of the fourth inning. Blue Devils leading 's going to bring up Fry Miller and Erlob. Fry is from Fort Collins, Colorado. That ball's low and inside. He reached on an air by Voida his first time up. Swing and a miss of that pitch. One ball, one strike. Ball all the way back to the screen, two and one. The Panthers, no runs on one hit with one air. The Blue Devils, five runs on four hits with two airs. Luckily, the two airs did not hurt them in the run department. There's a ball headed into right field and a diving play made by Janess. What a great diving play by Janess in right field to take care of that one for the first out of the inning. So that's going to bring up Brooks Miller. Miller will step in. He was called out on strikes his first time up. He's from Pryor, Oklahoma. <clears throat> He's up there with one out and nobody on. There's a strike called on the outside corner. Mason Davenport on the mound. Little bit low. Davenport from Tonganoxie, Kansas, went to Tonganoxie High School. Outside, two and one the count. Just a little bit low. Three and one the count.
Strike called inside corner at the knees. <clears throat> Brooks Miller, the first baseman for the Panthers. <clears throat> Comes the 3 2. Just yeah. catches the outside corner. Called strike for the second out of the inning. That's going to bring up Erlob. Erlob will step in with two outs. Nobody on. Erlob is from West Fargo, North Dakota. Went to West Fargo Cheyenne High School. First pitch to him is ball one, one and oh, the count. He reached on an error by the second baseman his first time up. Misses low and outside. Two and oh, the count. I pop up just into shallow right field. Mervosh is going to take care of that. So three up, three down here in the top of the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Blue Devils leading 5-0. We'll be back. Wellington back for another inning of work. McCard, Goldbeck, and Patterson scheduled up. That ball is fouled out of play. McCard has walked and had a base hit in this second game. That misses just a little bit outside. One and one the count. I fly ball into center field. <clears throat> Liston takes care of that for the first out of the inning. That's going to bring up Gary Goldback, the shortstop. He's had a base hit off the glove of the first baseman and been hit by a pitch. Just misses a little bit low and outside. 1-0 and oh the count. There's a strike called 1-1 one and one the count. Blue Devils leading 5-0 as they bat here in the bottom of the fourth. So ball headed into center field. Liston comes in and takes care of that. So two fly outs to Liston in center field in the inning. By McCargan Goldbeck, that's going to bring up Patterson. Patterson will step in with two outs. He's had an RBI base hit and a hit by a pitch. That ball's outside and in the dirt. 1-0 and oh the count on Brady Patterson, the designated hitter.
outside. 2-0 the count. Breaking pitch catches the outside corner. McDonald, Liston, Fry left to right across the outfield. Snodgrass, Erlob, Custer, and Miller across the infield. There's a ball headed to deep left field. That's going to be extra bases for Patterson. So Patterson cruises into second base with a double down the left field line. That's going to bring up Jace Woida. Woida will step in with a runner at second base after the two-hit double. Excuse me, two-out double by Patterson. Tying outside, 1-0 and oh the count. Wade flew out to left field and had a sack fly to center field, his second at bat. Tried to slap that down the left field line, but was a little too late. Fouled it over the dugout. So ground ball at the second baseman, Custer up with it and gets it over to Miller just in time. So a couple of fly outs, a double, and a ground out to end the inning. We go to the top of the fifth inning, Blue Devils leading 5-0. I'll be back. All right, Davenport back for another inning of work. Pringle, Snodgrass, and more scheduled up. Just a little bit outside. Pringle is from Shawnee, Kansas. Went to Mill Valley High School. That misses a little bit low. 2-0 and oh the count. Pringle caught the... First game, he's the designated hitter in the second game. That's up high. Same format down in Chanute on Friday. He caught the first game and was designated hitter at the second game. I'm not sure how he missed that call there, but nonetheless, that was ruled a ball. 
So a base on balls by Pringle. And Les Buffington was up in his way. I can't see how the miss of that one. That's going to bring up Snodgrass. Snodgrass is up there with a the runner at first. He fouls that one back and out of play. Snodgrass is from Derby, Kansas. Went to Derby High School. Owen won the count on him. The ball headed into deep right center. That's going to be extra bases. So a double by Snodgrass into right center. He'll be at second base and Pringle at third. Pringle at third base. Snodgrass at second. It's going to bring up Cody Moore. He was called out on strikes his first time up. Moore is from Shawnee, Kansas as well. He went to Mill Valley High School. He'll step in with nobody out and runners at second and third. Five zero lead for the Blue Devils, but the Panthers are threatening here in the top half of the fifth. There's a strike called Owen won the count. Scheduled nine inning game. First one was a seven. Blue Devils dropped that one to the Panthers eleven to four. There's a strike called so quickly. Oh and to the count. On Cody Moore, the platoon catcher, he did the same as well down at Chanute when we traveled down there Friday. That misses outside, one and two the count. One ball, two strikes. Pringle at third, Snodgrass at second. That ball's fouled away, so fouls that away does more to live for another pitch. Comes the one two from Davenport. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. So one out now. That's going to bring up Reed Liston. Liston is from Derby, Kansas. Went to Derby High School. He'll step in with one out and runners at second and third. Strike called outside corner at the knees. Owen won the count. He had a base hit right through the legs of the pitcher his last time, and he rips that base hit right up the middle. So Liston with the base hit for two RBI. So two pitches that he is ripped right back up the middle, and that makes it a 5-2 to two game. So back to the top of the order, and McDonald. Outside, 1-0 and oh the camp. McDonald has walked and been out on a fly ball to McHarg in center field. 1-0 and oh the count. Outside, 2-0 and oh the count. McDonald was the closer in the first game.
Misses a little bit low. 3-0 and oh the count. There's a strike right through there. Three and one the count. It's a ground ball. Gary Goldback over and from his knees gets the ball over to Mervosh to get the lead runner. So McDonald reaches first on the six four fielder's choice. That's going to bring up Cam Custer. Custer was out on a five four three double play, his first at bat, and a fielder's choice to go back over to Mervage, his second at bat. There's a breaking ball, catches the outside corner. Owen won the count. On Cam Custer, the second baseman. Breaking ball just stays a little bit inside. One and one the count. Pretty good pitch right there. In the dirt, nicely blocked by Buffington. Two and one the count. Runner at first is McDonald. There's a ball laced into the left field corner. Little hesitation by McDonald to come to third and then goes ahead and makes it there. So Custer with a base hit to left field. That's going to bring up Brendan Fry, Fry, the right fielder. He reached on an air and has been out on a fly to right field. We're going to get a visit to the mound. We'll see if there are any changes. We'll be back. Stay with us. All right, visit to the mound is over. Little foul ball out in front of the plate. Brendan Fry, the right fielder. Two outs, runners at the corners, two runs in for the Panthers. The ground ball hit it up the middle. That's cut off by Mervosh. That's going to be a base hit, I'm guessing. We'll see. Yes, ruled a hit. He dove towards center field, got the ball, but he couldn't get to second in time, and by the time he 
Went to go to first, couldn't get there either. So a base hit by Fry. Scores a run as well. Fly ball headed to right field. Going to be taken care of by the right fielder, Janess. So three runs scored in the inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Blue Devils leading to five to three. We'll be back. Bunt hit for McGee. So that's going to bring up Buffington. McGee is down at first. Buffington at the plate. Buffington has walked and been out on a fly to right field. High and inside, 2-0 and oh the count. Runner at first base is the left fielder, Parker McGee. He had reached on an air and had a base hit, so he's got two base hits in this game. That ball's a little bit up, 3-0 and oh the count. There's ball four. That's going to bring up Jet Buck. Nobody out. Runners at first and second. Buck has been called out on strikes and been out on the fly ball to right field. Way outside. 1 0 the count on the third baseman, Jet Buck. There's a strike right through there. Second base is McGee. First base is Buffington. Buck at the plate. Jet Buck with the foul ball on the bunt. One and two the count on Jeff Buck. Now 
outside. Two and two the count. Two balls, two strikes. Two runners on, nobody out. Jet Buck at the plate. Foul ball back and out of play. So we'll do the 2-2 two -two again. McGee with the bunt hit. Buffington followed it up with a base on balls. Nobody out. Jet bucked the third baseman at the plate. Breaking ball fouls it away. Been interesting to see if he hadn't have swung at that one if he'd have been punched out. The guys up here concur that that's what would have happened. Five to three, the lead for the Blue Devils. Nobody out. They did lead by five, gave up three. There's a swing and a miss for the strikeout. So they need to regain a little bit of insurance here. So that's going to bring up Tyler Janess. Janess will step in now with one out and runners at first and second. There's a strike outside part of the plate at the knees. Blue Devils lost the first game today, 11 to 4. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a bunt hit to load up the bases. Nice drag bunt. Got it deep enough that he was able to get there. So that loads them up. That's going to bring up Jackson Mervosh. Mervosh will step in with one out and the bases full of Blue Devils. Let's see if he can get something on the outfield grass. Get a couple of those runs back. Swings through that breaking pitch. Owen won the count. Breaking pitch, called strike. Nice bender there that makes it black back to the strike zone. Owen to the count. Way up high. One and two the count. To the Blue Devils second baseman, Jackson Mervosh. He grounded back to the pitcher and flew out to right field his two at-bats today. Foul ball down the right field line and out of play. Fifth inning action, game four. Last Friday, they split down with their first two games down at Chanute. Breaking pitch, ground ball. We'll see how that's scored. See if they score that a hit. It is going to be scored a hit, so a base hit by Mervosh. Shortstop going toward the third base side. So one run scores on the hit. Back to the top of the order and Peyton McHarg. McHarg has walked, had a base hit, and flew out to center field. He takes ball one. Bases still full of Blue Devils. One run in in the inning. Six to three lead. That ball misses just a little outside.
two and oh the count. Foul ball down the left field line. Two and one the count now. Breaking ball called strike. Two balls, two strikes in and out. So ground ball headed into right field. Scores one. Scores two. The first base goes from first to third. So two more runs in in the inning for the Blue Devils. That makes it eight. Going to get a visit to the mound. Most likely a change. We'll see. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. Blue Devils leading Pitching change has been made. Josh Brennan comes in to pitch for the Panthers. He's from Wichita, Kansas. Went to Bishop Carroll High School. He'll be on the mound and face Goldbeck first. Goldbeck has had a base hit, been hit by a pitch, and now on a fly to center field. One out. Squares to bunt, pulls back. Three runs in in the inning. 1-0 and oh the count on Goldbeck. Squares to bunt. Runner goes over to second base. One, three, out. Two outs now. That's going to bring up Patterson. Patterson will step in with two outs now. Patterson's had an RBI base hit, been hit by a pitch, and had a double in this one. So two for two. There's a strike called outside corner. Coach Goldback kind of... Headed toward the side. I don't know if he wanted his runner on third to score on that. I'm guessing that he did. 
and that's why he was a bit upset. So Owen won the count on Patterson. That stays up just a bit. One and one the count. There's a strike. Fastball at the waist on the outside corner. One and two the count. A little bit outside. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on <laughs> for the Blue Devils here. Breaking ball stays up high. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Three runs in in the inning. Blue Devils up 8-3. Bottom of the fifth inning. So ball headed into right field. Charging in is Fry. He'll squeeze that up for the last out of the inning. So three runs on four hits. We go to the top of the six. Blue Devils leading eight to three. Once again, if you'd like to make a donation to the broadcast, you go to fortees.com. Go to the donation page and make that donation. There's several ways to do it. I appreciate it. We'll be back. To the top of the sixth we go, Blue Devils leading 8-3. Davenport back for another inning of work. Erlob, Pringle, and Snodgrass scheduled up. Erlob has reached on an air and popped out to the second baseman so far in this second game. As a breaking ball fades just a little bit low, one ball and one strike. To the shortstop of the Panthers, Alex Erlob. It's outside. Two and one the count. Fly ball headed into deep center field. Back to take care of that is McHarg. So a deep fly ball by her lob, but out. So that's going to bring up Lucas Pringle. Pringle is the designated hitter. He hit into 4-6-3, ground out, and walked so far in this one. Strike called. McGee, McCart, Janess from left to right across the outfield. Buck, Goldbeck, Mervosh, and Moida across the infield. Buffington behind the plate. 
with Davenport in his sixth inning of work on the mound. That's high, one ball, one strike, and one out. Foul ball, fouled back and out of play. In the dirt. Two and two the count. <clears throat> the high fly ball in the center field. And go back out to take care of that. It was in shallow center field. Goldbeck takes care of that for the second out of the inning. That's going to bring up Snodgrass. Snodgrass has struck out and had a double in this second game. He'll step in with two outs and nobody on for his Panthers. There's a strike breaking pitch right through there. Blue Devils lead eight to three. Breaking pitch gets called a strike. Oh, and to the count. High and outside. One and to the count. Couple of pop outs to begin this inning by Erlob and Pringle. There's a strike three called. So Snodgrass goes down on a punch out. No runs, no hits, three up, three down. We go to the bottom half of the sixth inning. Blue Devils leading eight to three. I'll be back. First pitch is taken for a strike by Jace Woida. Strike right through there. James Brennan on in relief. There's a ground ball over to Miller. Miller 
takes care of that and steps on the bag. Way to out on three unassisted. It's going to bring up Parker McGee. McGee reached on an air, scored a run, had a base hit, scored a run, and then a bunt hit. Squared the bunt again. And out at first. It's going to bring up Buffington. Buffington's been out on a fly ball to right field and two base on balls beside that. Low and outside, 1-0 and the count. 8-3 to three the lead, bottom of the sixth inning action. Breaking ball headed to right field. Back deep to take care of that is Fry. So three up, three down. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Blue Devils leading eight to three. Stay with us. We got a good one. Pitching change has been made by the Blue Devils. Aaron Lucas from Kearney, Missouri comes in to pitch for the Blue Devils. He's scheduled to face more Liston and then back to the top of the order and McDonald. Moore with a couple of strikeouts, once looking, once swinging in this one so far. Swing and a miss of that first pitch. Top of the seventh inning action. Strike two called right at the knees, right down the middle. <clears throat> Owen two on the catcher, Cody Moore. Foul ball back and out of play. Over the first base dugout, back over onto the soccer field. Owen oh 2 again. Just a little bit low. Breaking pitch again, just a little bit low. Two balls, two strikes. So from 0-2, to 
to two and two goes Lucas. Foul ball back and out of play. Moore locked up in a good battle here with the reliever Aaron Lucas. Comes in after Davenport goes five innings. It's another foul ball. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out as Moore leads off the top of the seventh for the Neosho Panthers. Breaking pitch, locked him up, punched him out. So a punch out for the first out of the seventh inning. That's going to bring up Reed Liston. Reed's had two base hits, one of them for two RBI. Both of his hits have been right back up the middle. Breaking ball stays just a little bit inside. One and oh that count. The ground ball jet bucks up with it and over to Woida for the 5-3 ground out. Back to the top of the order we go. Keegan McDonald. He's the left fielder. He'll step in with two outs. He's been out on a fly, out on a ground outfielder's choice and walked so far in this one. Oh, and one that count. Oh, and two that count now. Another ground ball, buck up with it. Going to be a short hop and handled by Woida. That's one of those tweeners that's tough. That's a great job on the backhand by Woida over there. Makes a three up, three down inning. We go to the bottom of the seventh with the Blue Devils leading eight to three. I'll be back. All right, to the bottom half of the seventh inning we go. As the sun goes down, it's starting to cool right off. Brennan back for another inning of work. There's a ball hit hard right up the middle. It's going to be ruled a hit. So Buck with the base hit. It's going to bring up Tyler Janess. Yeah. 
Jen Hess has had been out on a little soft liner to the second baseman hit by a pitch and a bunt hit. There's a ball headed down the left field line and foul. Owen won the count on Janess. Janess, the right fielder here in the second game. Throw back over to first. Nothing going on over there. High and outside. One ball, one strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. Foul ball, one and two the count <clears throat> on Tyler Janess. Runner goes. Ball's hit right back up the middle. The pitcher, Brennan, jabs and stabs and catches that and throws it over to Miller for the 1-3 ground out. Buck moves to second base. That's going to bring up Mervos, Jackson Mervos. He's grounded back to the pitcher, been out on a fly to right field, and had a base hit. Strike called. Owen won the count. Foul ball down the right field line and out of play. So quickly, Owen two. The count on the second baseman, Jackson Mervosh. Blue Devils leading 8-3, to three, bottom of the sixth inning action. Breaking ball stays inside, 1-2 and two the count. The ground ball hit it at the shortstop. He's up with it. And the one hopper over to first base. So Erlob over to Miller for the 6-3 ground out. Moves the runner to third base. The runner at third is Jet Buck. Back to the top of the order and Peyton McCard. He's had a walk, a couple of hits, two RBI, and a fly out. His at bats this game, he fouls that one back and out of play. McHard, the center fielder, 0 and 1 the count on him. Up a little bit high, one ball, one strike. Nine inning scheduled game. First game was a seven. Blue Devils lost it to the Panthers 11 to 4. The high fly ball into right field. Fry coming in and takes care of that for the third out of the inning. So no runs on one hit. We go to the top of the eighth. Blue Devils leading 8 to 3. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you would, please. And if you'd like to contribute to the broadcast, you can go to fortees.com to the donation page. There are several different ways to donate. Always appreciate a donation if you have one for being able to see the games. We'll be back.
to the top of the eighth inning we go. Blue Devils leading eight to three. Aaron Lucas back to the mound for another inning of work. Custer, Fry, and Miller scheduled up for the Panthers. Strike one called on the first pitch. In the dirt, one and one the count. Custer's hit into a double a play. 6-4 fielder's choice and had a base hit to left field. That's high and inside. Two and one the count. Custer, the second baseman of this second game. Curveball makes it back through there for a strike call. Custer was the designated hitter in the first game. Two and two the count. Breaking pitch stayed a little high. Breaking balls starting out way inside, just about made it back to the strike zone, but was a little high. Low and outside for ball four. So a leadoff walk. That's going to bring up Fry. Runner at first base will be Custer. Going to have a pinch runner at first base. Pinch runner is going to be Luke Westerman. So Luke Westerman will come in to run for Custer. Fry at the plate, outside ball one. Fry's reached on an air, been out on a fly to right field, and had a base hit for an RBI. There's a strike called one and one the count. His base hit was off the glove of the second baseman going up the middle. 8-3 lead for the Blue Devils. Top of the eighth inning action. One and one the count. Nicely blocked by Buffington. And little snap throw down to first. Didn't think it was going to be close at all. And it was very close. Two and one the count. Who? Oh. That was close. Not sure if it was up or out, but three and one the count. Aaron Lucas on in relief of Mason Davenport. Davenport went five innings. That's going to be back and out of play. Don't see the ball come down and hit the cable very often. Three and two the count. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. So that's gonna bring up Brooks Miller. Miller's been called out on strikes twice and flew out to right field. Strike, breaking ball, makes it right back into the zone. 0-1 oh, the count on the first baseman, Brooks Miller. Breaking pitch, a little bit low. Don't be begging out there, Aaron. The umpires don't like that. One ball, one strike, one out, one on.
faire bon. Breaking pitch stays just a little bit inside. Two and two the count now. All headed into deep left field. That's taken care of by McGee for the second out of the inning. It's going to bring up her lob. Her lob will step in with two outs and a runner at first base. He's reached on an air, popped out to the second baseman, and been out on a fly to make hard in center field. Breaking pitch catches the outside corner. Strike called. Lead-off walk to Custer, pinch runner Westerman. Strikeout and a fly out since then. Two outs, breaking pitch just a little bit inside. I think I saw a little flinch out of the umpire, but not enough to get him to go. One and one the count. High and inside, two and one the count. Check swing, ruled a ball, three and one the count. <clears throat> hit by a pitch. So does that go as a hit by a pitch or a walk? Base on balls. Hit by pitch. Just checking you there. Hit by a pitch. That's going to bring up Pringle. Pringle is going to step in. He's the designated hitter in this game, catcher in the first game. He hit into a double play his first time up. Then he walked. Then he popped out to the short stop over in shallow right center. Two outs, two on, nicely blocked by Buffington. High and outside. Two and oh, the count. In the dirt, 3-0. and oh. Blue Devils with an 8-3 lead. Two outs here, runners at first and second. There's a strike right through there, 3-1 and one the count. Swinging a miss of that pitch. So from three and zero oh to three and two. Lucas Pringle at the plate. Swinging a miss. 
for the strikeout. No runs on, no hits. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Blue Devils leading 8-3. to three. We'll be back. Change a pitcher for the Panthers. There's the inside. Grant Ash from Derby, Kansas is coming in. Grant Ash. There's ball two to Gary Goldbeck. It's a ground ball headed back up the middle. Short stop. Erlob comes over and throws him out to Miller for the 6-3 ground out. It's going to bring up Patterson. Patterson will step in with one out, nobody on. He's had an RBI base hit, a hit by pitch, a double, and a fly out to right field. That ball misses outside. One out, nobody on. One and oh, the count. That's up high. Two and oh, the count. Breaking pitch catches the strike zone on the outside corner. The 2-1 fouled back and out of play. So 2-2 two and two the count with one out. Foul ball off the catcher. Two balls, two strikes, and an out. Cody Moore catching the second game. Kind of glanced off of his shoulder there, it looked like. Breaking pitch. Gets back to the inside corner for the punch out. That's going to bring up Jace Woida. Woida will step in with two outs and nobody on. He's been out on a fly. Had an RBI sack fly grounded out. To the right side twice, once to the second baseman and once to the first baseman unassisted. He takes one and oh. Foul ball. One ball, one strike. 
Grant Ash trying to get his Panthers back into the dugout. That stays outside with their last opportunity. They're down to their last three outs. There's a ground ball to the first baseman, Miller. Fumbles around but grabs it, steps on the back. We go to the top of the ninth inning. Blue Devils leading eight to three. The Panthers need five to keep this thing going. And the pitcher, Lucas, needs three outs. Going to have a pitching change. It looks like Jet Buck's going to come in. We'll let him warm up. We'll be back. So the pitching change, Jet Buck, has been called upon to get the last three outs of the inning. So who does that put at third base, guys? Austin Burroughs at third base. Mark Elliott at first. And Elliott, Mark Elliott at first base. Thank you, man. That miss is just a little bit inside. Snodgrass, Boer, and Liston scheduled up for the Panthers. That's a little bit low. Also have a pinch hitter here for Neo Show. The pinch hitter is... David Brady from Topeka, Kansas, went to Washburn Rural. There's a ground ball at Goldbeck, and he gets rid of it quick, safe at first. So Devin Brady with the infield hit. Another pinch hitter, Owen Butcher. Butcher is from Arkansas City, or Kansas City, Kansas. Went to Ark City High School. He takes ball one. We're going to next Friday and Friday over to Saturday, going to travel down to Ark City to play Cali. That game will be broadcast by Leg Lighter in their group. They have a great production down there. I'll still go down and help them a little bit, but we will watch their broadcast. 2-0 and oh the count on Butcher. Misses a little bit outside, 3-0. and oh. There's ball four. 
bats or lead off walk and then followed up by a base on balls. Reed Liston will step in, get a quick visit to the mound by Buffington to say, hey, just throw strikes here. They need a lot of runs. Let your defense work. Liston, he's had two base hits and a ground out. One of the base hits was for two RBI in this game. So he has two of the three RBI. The other RBI was by Brendan Fry. So Fry and Liston with the RBIs in this game so far for the Panthers. Runners at first and second. There's a foul ball. Owen won the count. Runner at second base is Brady. Runner at first base is Butcher. That's one of those almost impossible balls to block right there, but he's fortunate enough to keep it in front of him. One ball, one strike. Buck on the mound in relief. There's a foul ball back to the screen. He needs three outs. The Panthers need five runs to keep this thing going. One and two the count. Nobody out. Strike three called, I wondered. The pitch was beautiful enough. I'm not sure if he knew what the count was. So back to the top of the order, Keegan McDonald will step in. McDonald has walked, flew out, grounded out, and grounded out. Once to the third base, once to shortstop. It's a high fly ball to right field. He lost it, and that's going to be a three-run home run. When you get over toward the foul pole, it cuts down from 375 down to 290. So probably about a 300 foot, maybe a little over a three run home run by McDonald. So that cuts the lead down to two with just one out. So eight to six. It's going to bring up Westerman. Balls inside. Westerman came in to run for Custer after Custer reached last inning on a base on balls. 2 and 0. Oh. Come on now, Mr. Buffington, back behind the plate. Let's. Don't make him get any tighter with this than he is by looking back up at the umpire. 2-0 and oh the count. Three and O oh the count. Burroughs and Elliott in at the corners. That's up high for ball four. So that's going to bring up Fry. Going to get a quick visit to the mound. Coach Goldbeck wants to get a few words in here. The home run down the route right field line. Making it 8-6. The Panthers with six runs on seven hits and one error. The Blue Devils, eight runs on ten hits with two errors. Two-run lead. 
one out. The Blue Devils need two outs to get this thing over with. The Panthers need two more to tie it up and send it further than this half of the inning. So the visit to the mound is over. Buffington coming back to behind the plate. Fry will step in. He's the right fielder. He's reached on an air, been out on a fly, had an RBI base hit, and a strikeout. There's a strike called outside corner at the knees. Need another pitch right there. In the dirt, blocked by Buffington. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. Two and one the count. Three and one the count. So Buck having a little trouble finding the strike zone. Three balls, one strike, one out, one on. The lead has been cut to two on the three-run home run by Keegan McDonald. Base on balls. So that's going to bring up Brooks Miller. He's been called out on strikes twice and been out on a fly to right and a fly to left. One out in the dirt. One and oh, the count. Foul. Foul ball. Definitely had the distance, just didn't have the in between the foul poles. So one ball, one strike, one out. That got the adrenaline going a little there. Get. That's inside. My outfield camera has run out of its juice. The battery pack out there. So I'll learn from that and keep it plugged in. So for now, we'll go from here. There's a strike called three and two the count. Three balls, two strikes, and an out. The cheese is getting a little binding here. Eight to six, the lead. The go-ahead run at the plate. There's a ground ball. We'll do the three-two again. The tying run at first. That's up high in ball four. So back to back to back base on balls. And that's going to bring up Erlob. Erlob has reached on an air, popped out 
to second base, fly out to center field, and been hit by a pitch. So the tying run now in scoring position at second base. Oh, and won the count on Erlob, the shortstop. There's strike two on the outside corner at the knees. Oh, and to the count. Bases full of Panthers, eight to six to score. Clinging to a two-run lead, needing two outs. It's outside one and two. Jet Buck on in relief of Aaron Lucas, who was on in relief of Mason Davenport. Davenport went five. Ground ball. Infield hit makes it 8-7. Infield hit by Erlob. And an RBI. That's going to bring up Pringle. Owen won the count on Pringle. The tying run now at third base. One out. In the dirt. One ball, one strike, one out. One run lead for the Blue Devils. Foul ball back and out of play into the screen. Foul ball down the left field line. One and two the count. Four runs in in the inning to make it 8-7. Ninth inning action. Another foul ball down the left field line. Lucas Pringle, the designated hitter. I don't know that there's a hitter on their team that I've seen in these two days that I'd rather have up there if I'm in their shoes. It's outside ball two, two and two the count. Another foul ball back and out of play. Getting ready for the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Foul ball down the left field line. <laughs> Another foul ball back and out of play. So we'll do the 2-2 again. Ball 
getting ready for, I believe, the 10th pitch of the at-bat. Base hit into right field. Two runs will score. So the Panthers have taken a 9-8 lead on that base hit by Pringle. Nine to eight the lead. That's gonna bring up Davin Brady. Davin Brady will be up there with one out, runners at second and third. One and oh the count. Infield in at the grass. 2-0 the count on Brady. In the dirt, 3-0. Six runs in in the inning for the Panthers to take the 9-8 lead. There's a strike right through there, three and one the count. Nine runs on nine hits and an error for the Panthers. Eight runs on ten hits and two errors by the Blue Devils. There's ball four to load him back up again. It's going to bring up Butcher, Owen Butcher. Going to get a visit to the mound. We will take a break. We'll be back. Panthers have taken a one-run lead. Scoring six in the inning. They lead 9-8.
All right, the pitching change has been made. Derek Morales from Vero Beach, Florida will step onto the mound and face Owen Butcher. Butcher reached on a base on balls, his first at bat into the game. One out, bases are loaded. Double play depth up the middle. Foul ball back and over the third base dugout. Swing and a miss of that fastball. Oh, and to the count on Butcher. Bases loaded. Panthers have taken a one-run lead here in the top of the ninth. There's a ball that's headed into right center. That's going to score two more. So the base hit by Butcher into right center scores two more for the Panthers. So they go up 11 to 8. Still just one out. That's going to bring up Reed Liston. <clears throat> Liston has a couple of base hits, a ground out, and called out on strikes. One of his base hits was for two RBI. There's a foul ball back and out of play. Owen won the count on the center fielder, Reed Liston. Eight runs in in the inning to take an 11-8 to eight lead. Are the Panthers or have done the Panthers. One ball, one strike, one out. Foul ball back and out of play. One and two the count. Morales could use, sure use a strikeout right here. The foul ball yanked foul down the left field line. Swing and a miss for the strikeout, so two outs now. Back to the top of the order. The Panthers have sent the 13th hitter to the plate this inning. And it was a three-run home run. The last at bat by McDonald. That's in the dirt. 1-0 the count. In the dirt, 2 and 0 oh the count. So that one got a piece of Buffington, sent the umpire out to give him a little bit of time to shake it off.
2-0 and oh the count. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. There's a strike called. Two and one the count. It's a high fly ball to left field. Sending McGee back deep, and he takes care of that. So eight runs scored in the inning on five hits. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Blue Devils need three to tie, four to win. We'll be back. All right, the Blue Devils go from a five-run lead to a three-run deficit, deficit. Logan Bartlett comes in the game from Caney, Kansas, scheduled up for the Blue Devils, McGee, Buffington, and Buck. 1-0 the count on McGee. McGee has... Two RBI in the game. One, a base hit, and then he had a bunt hit. And then he had another bunt where they just got him at first on a 2-3 ground out. One and two the count on him. Blue Devils need three to tie, four to win. There's a foul ball, so we'll do the one-two again. Swing and a miss for the strikeout for the first out of the inning. It's going to bring up Buffington. Buffington is walked, been out on a fly ball to right field, walked, and out on another fly ball to right field. So 0 for 2 officially on a couple fly outs to right field. There's a strike called.
foul ball down the right field line. Enough distance, but not between the poles, so Owen to the count on Matt Buffington, the catcher. Another foul ball. We'll do the 0-2 again. Inside, one and two the count. One ball, two strikes. Buffington, the catcher at the plate. Blue Devils down to their last two outs. Outside. Two balls and two strikes now to Matt Buffington, the catcher. Foul ball. Two and two the count. Ground ball headed over to third base. Snodgrass up with it. And over to Miller for the 5-3 ground out for the second out of the inning. That's going to bring up Jet Buck. Strike call, one ball and one strike. There's a base hit up the middle. So a two out hit by Jet Buck. It's going to bring up Tyler Janess. Janess will step in with two outs and a runner at first base. Is a ground ball over to the third baseman, Snodgrass, and over to first base for the 5-3 ground out. So the final for this one is 11-8. The Blue Devils lose the final game of the set. They lost the first one down at Neosho, 5-3 to three on Friday. They won the second one, 4-3. to three. Today they lost the first game of the doubleheader, which was the third game of the four-game series. They lost it 11-4, to four, and then they lost this one 11-8. So they go one out of three for the four-game series. Not sure if we will have a broadcast on Tuesday, but we will here on Thursday for the two games where Cali comes up. And then if Cali has their broadcast on Saturday, we'll go with their broadcast. So the Blue Devils drop two today to the Neosho Panthers. Thanks for watching. If you don't mind, give us a subscribe and a thumb, thumbs up. If you would like to make a donation, go to fortees.com. There's a donation page. Go to there. There's several ways to give. We appreciate anything to help defray the cost for the baseball team. So... This is Jay Forsler saying so long. We'll see you on Thursday. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening.